Welcome to the Legworks Podcast. I'm your host, Quincy. And your other host, Justin. We apologize now. There's a high school football game going on just down the street from us. I don't think the board will pick it up, but, but just in case. In, just in case they get super loud. Yeah, or the band starts playing, because you can't hear the band when they start playing. Oh, yeah. Um, we apologize now. We are not in a small town, which is weird for us to have to be like, there's a high school baseball game, or football game going on, you know? Mm-hmm. I don't. I, you don't hear this often you don't. in this town. So um, Tonight, I went with another... Uh, you know, store by made coffee thing. I did the Cafe Monster, hundred uh, percent Arabic uh, energy coffee, thirteen point seven fluid ounces. It's their like vanilla one. Is it? It doesn't. Yeah, it's vanilla. It's their their Cafe Monster. Cafe Monster. Cafe Monster. Uh, it has uh, B vitamins and all the stuff that a regular energy drink would have, which is kind of interesting to be also sold in a glass bottle. Yeah. Um, it, it's a nice, um, coffee shop label and all that. And I mean, and I just spilled the backup drink. Oh no. Um, it's actually pretty good. Uh, crisis averted. Um, so I, I like the look of it. I like the look of the bottle. It tastes good. I mean, I wouldn't put it past it. It's just, I, you know what? If I ever felt like coffee, I would probably lean toward one of these just to, you know, get my B vitamins for the day. Uh, it seems like it's a well-rounded drink in general. Uh, and it comes with vanilla, which I, I enjoy vanilla drinks more than I do, like, ice cream. So yeah, they've got, like, three or four flavors. Now, Lauren had asked me when I was trying it. She goes, uh, how is it compared to the Starbucks one? I'm like, mm. both are good. They don't taste at all similar, so I don't feel like it's fair to compare them to each other. Okay. Yeah, you, know, you kind of get that thought process though, because it's they're like both... it's a cold coffee drink they're... in a glass bottle. Okay, so what you're saying is they're both like eights, but in their own right. Yeah. Okay. That's so. that's a fair acclamation. As for me, I hit a blast from the past, from like long time ago. Uh, one of the first ones I ever had, which is a sea salt caramel uh, Bigelow brand, and. Uh, I just tried it again, and I'm like, holy cow. I, When we were down there making it, I was like, this caramel scent is so heavy. Yeah. And I, I didn't get that from the last time. So I think I might have had a bad bag for my first one. Maybe. Um, mm. No. It tastes, it tastes really good. For, good. for a black tea to be super sweet like this, it's kind of hard to do. Did you add any sugar or I, honey or anything? Uh, I think I did one, one and a half spoons of sugar. Okay. No, no honey. I don't think honey and caramel do too, too well. Probably not. Yeah. Um. Now you said blast from the past, and I got me thinking. Have you ever seen that movie? Uh, with Brendan Fraser. Brendan Fraser. Uh, um, I remember walking. I remember seeing it on, but I don't think I've sat through it all the that way. That was pretty good. That one might go on the list. I don't own that one, so yeah, maybe we we've got a lot, and also there are some things that I, I've mentioned. I would rather like do movies that you also haven't seen. That's a lot harder though. I know. If I wanted to watch it, I did watch it. Okay, then there's got to be there, like there's a few movies right now at this very moment of us talking you have not seen. Okay, such as Far From Home. Okay, so yeah, the new Spider Man. Yeah, yeah, like that. I'll r- give you. Like right now, it's on Disney Plus. We could do that tonight. It's not on Disney Plus. It's on Disney Plus. Yet? No. Then why uh, is it in the, the fucking? Hold on. Then why is it in the advertisements? Is Far From Home in the advertisements? Yeah. Well, then let me double check. I may be speaking wrong. I have the app right here. Right there. Um, because now you got me thinking I could be wrong. Because last I checked, it wasn't, and neither was Homecoming. And I thought I was thinking it was a Sony thing. I was thinking Sony was being an asshole. You know, like they do. I am on the Wi-Fi, so it is breaking because this room is fucking leadlined. I swear to God, it's either leadlined or I mean the the router, the router itself is maybe about 85, 90 feet, and through like four walls. So I get signal in the garage, which is underneath us. Okay, like, but there's only two walls between that and that. I guess, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's not coming up. Okay, then disregard. Neither is homecoming. Okay, then disregard. Um, but I, I, I should have sworn think I saw it on the. I should have sworn I saw it on the the trailer. Are you sure the, it wasn't an scenes advertising. of him from Civil War or? Uh, no, because it was uh, him on that bridge, on the um, on that Ital- Italian style bridge or, the, or French bridge or whatever it was. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. So Europe, somewhere in Europe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it was the London Bridge. But okay, yeah, all right. But even still, okay, so I'll give you that's one. But the problem is, is okay. So that's one of them. 
I'm caught up on the MCU other than that, though. Okay. Uh, yeah. There isn't. Uh, what about the second Ant-Man? Yeah, I saw it. Okay. Just making sure. Before we went and saw Endgame, I saw everything. Okay. So. Oh, that's right. You had a, a schedule. I, I sat down. I broke it all down by time and everything. I had a that's schedule. Right. I was making that's sure right. I was ready. <laughs> all right. But uh, it's just harder to find them for me. You're right. But there's still got to be something that you were like, I heard about it, never saw it. I'm sure there's a couple out Normally there. Normally, it's like shit horror that I like. just really am not there for. For instance, I wasn't like, oh my god, I've got to watch this for Hereditary. That oh, movie yeah. that everyone's sucking the dick of. And I, Lauren watched it. Scary movies are very, very picky for me now. Well, well, Lauren watched it. Okay. And she's like, this movie is fucking terrible. And then I watched it. I'm like, holy shit. I don't know why everyone likes this movie. I do not get it. This movie is shit. No. Um, and I didn't, you know, it's got Tony Collette. She's amazing and she does well with the movie, but the rest of the, the movie is just weird, dude. <clears throat> um, so basically it's about this family with this, like the, the mother dies, like the grandmother dies and it's believed that she may have been possessed by this being and now it's in the little girl and then the little girl gets killed uh, when her brother's driving uh, home from a party that he was forced to take her to. She gets decapitated because she sticks her head out the window trying to breathe because she's having an allergic reaction. She gets decapitated by like a um, telephone pole. <laughs> and then he just leaves her body in the car, parks the car in the garage and goes to bed. Yeah, and that's then that's not it, scary. That's more awkward than anything. And then it's like the like the house is kind of haunted. They think, and they this this being is like now possibly trying to jump from person to person, and the whole family just ends up fucking falling apart. And then at the end of it all, there's a bunch of naked people like celebrating this guy in their fucking. Um, treehouse and the scene you saw where the the brother was freaking out it's because he's sitting there in class and all of a sudden just slams his he uh, head hard as fuck into the table breaking his nose uh, dude i don't fucking get it yeah no let's talk about last week's movie because those yeah. are those were at least good uh yeah you gotta pull up the other one still too uh what was the other one fast times at ridgemont high. right so we watched days and confused and fast times at ridgemont high um we watched days and confused first because my brother can't hang and that's his one of his favorite movies so um take it off from there what do you think oh uh, i liked it i liked it a lot um it was very entertaining it didn't it it had a a few jokes that that you know tickled the ribs but nothing too outgoing you know it, it it's about a cool night it's about a cool night you know uh, it was literally a, a lot done in one night a lot of actors in their youth. Yeah. Holy shit. Um, what did you... What I love is, like, look at the poster. Look at the ones that made the poster. So, she's not Mila even... Jehovah, who has maybe one line in the whole fucking movie. Uh, two, maybe three lines tops. I'll give you the other three, though. The other three, yeah. But I feel like, you know, they could have put... Uh, they probably needed to have a female up there with the redhead she had more lines yeah uh, uh what did you think of um the whole uh i want to dance because <laughs> that's he, he was a good character he was a good character that's something me and lauren quote a lot is i want to dance um, um i do have a correction from last uh episode uh the guy that played sweet lou is not in this i don't know why i was thinking he was i could have sworn he was but he's not okay. i was wrong on that one but uh I, it it I, Days and Confused is a good clean movie. Well, well, not clean. Well, you know what I mean. No nudity. Uh, no nudity. Um, plenty of pot use. <laughs> plenty of pot use and plenty of underage spanking. Yep, well, that's what they used to do. <laughs> I know. I know. Um, let's look at the ratings. Oh, it was uh very well received. Well, that's Criterion Collection. Yeah. So, Seven point six out of ten on IMDb. Ninety one percent rotten. Uh. 78 meta and 89 from the Google users. That's... I feel the Google users are low, personally. Do you think it should be a little higher than that? Yeah, I, I put this movie in the 90s. You put it in the 90s? Yeah. Even though it's set in the 70s? Yeah. 
Well, it was made in the 90s, though. I know, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, uh, McConaughey enjoyable for you? McConaughey was enjoyable. I, I like I like McConaughey. I don't have no problem with them. Yeah. I, I, I don't... Lauren goes back and forth on, I don't mind him, but, you know, he's a good character, but I don't like him. And I'm like... I don't know. But something why? just something about him just irks her. I, okay, sure. Um, is it because he 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 is the kachow? That's not him. That's oh. Owen Wilson. Yeah, you're right. Shit. <laughs> to be fair, they look alike. And the the bad guy in that is Michael Keaton. The green one that like steals his line and starts going kachiga. It's Michael Keaton. I never knew that. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> uh, would you watch it again? Yes. If it was on and it was in front of me, I would definitely sit there. If I was watching it from the middle, I would know what part I was on. It would be Okay. So we're watching nice. this again tonight. We're not watching anything new. That's no. fine. <laughs> All right. Uh, I put a little tweet out there um, showing off the Criterion Collection with the oh, soundtrack. Ah, it's because, beautiful. First of all, it's, yeah, the Criterion Collection is beautiful. Second of all, I have the soundtrack because it's an amazing soundtrack. And they spent one-sixth of the movie's budget on the soundtrack alone. And it shows. Um. And for some reason, Twitter flagged it. <laughs> As sensitive material. I don't know what I did wrong. Like, there was a, a drawing of a topless woman. Well, no, she's not topless. It's a button-up. It's a button-up? Oh, then it's I have... just very big boobs. Oh, okay. Then, yeah, I have no clue. That was it. That Like, we went over it, uh, and we just looked at the image and said, there's nothing wrong with this image. I don't know. Um... Let me go to my Twitter. Twada. Twitter.com slash long shot underscore heroes plug plug, even though I don't tweet too much nowadays. Yeah, you're yeah. At it. This media may contain sensitive material. And then we we pump it up and it's just the picture of the Criterion Collection. The yeah. poster, the soundtrack, the Also a pumpkin in the background, because oh. I didn't move that far enough out of shot. Yeah. <laughs> and hold on, let me, let me... Yeah, yeah there is nothing. There is yeah, nothing. See, it's a button up shirt. It's a button up shirt, okay. And it's like, for the most part, what you're seeing is visible on the rack when you're buying this movie. So, of course, it doesn't have anything offensive. Unless you find this car offensive, which I'm not happy for. And it's There's nothing wrong with the car. It's not even the Dukes of Hazard car. So, you can't be like, it's got a flag on it because it doesn't have the flag. Yeah, I don't know. It's very... General Lee, that's the name of the Dukes of Hazard car. Yeah. <clears throat> but, so. uh, even still, it was very interesting to, to have it be flagged for sensitive, I guess... Dazed and Confused is uh, a very, very touchy subject. I guess. I don't know. So you put it at the 89 with the Google users? Uh, a little... Uh, about there. Okay. About there. I felt very, very well well placed with it. Uh, with Fast with fast Times. Okay. I'm going to start this one off immediately saying that Sean Penn, underrated actor. Yeah. Very underrated. He needs... I don't think there At least is. He's front and center on the poster. Yeah, he's front and center. He is ready to go. He is a. He chews up that scenery. <laughs> um, and he bagel in the pants. Bagel in the pants, and whoa, you didn't. <laughs> whoa, you told me that there was a birthday party here. There's no birthday party here. Um, like it. He is a very enjoyable person. Um, lots and lots of nudity in this one. Not a lot. Well, so it's two scenes with one actress, and then the one scene with Phoebe Cates. Oh, okay. Uh, well, three, and then one with Phoebe Cates. Three. Oh, no, well, two. Okay. There's the dugout. There's the pool house, and then there's the Phoebe Cates daydream when she's when she undoes her. Oh, top. yeah. Okay. So three. I thought she had another one. I, I get that nudity, because sometimes I'm like, wow, movies went too far with the nudity. I thought it was okay, especially knowing that originally the sex scene in the pool house had them both buck-ass fucking naked. Uh, they dialed it back a lot. Yeah. So, what did you think of uh, Judge in it? Judge? Yeah. He played his character well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, it says 100% guarantee. If you don't give me, it's like, I'm going to kick 100% of your ass. Yes. <laughs> um, and then, uh, so you liked uh, Sean Penn and Spicoli. Yeah. Um, uh, who else was it? Uh, doing the surfer dude. Ha. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, young Nicolas Cage in the background. Jesus, man. I I wasn't expecting it as soon as 
he popped through and I, I was just like he was in two scenes no lines yeah one one at the uh the food place and then one at the football game in the football game and that was it i love it this one right here has phoebe kate's reaction when she walks in on judge <laughs> um so let's uh look at the ratings for this one Whoop. Oh, wait, one more. I had a teacher in high school that had all of Spicoli's classroom scenes on a tape, and that was his introductory for the first day of school was, this is the stuff you will not do in my classroom. And he puts the tape in, and it's just all of Spicoli's classroom scenes. <laughs> I figured, since I'm here and you're here, this is our time. And then he, he, he eats his pizza. He eats his pizza. Uh, no, that no. pizza did not look good, though. It did not. It was still floppy, so I don't know. So, 7.2 out of 10 on IMDb, 78 on Rotten Tomatoes, 67 on Metacritic, and 84 on Google Users. What are you thinking? I'll sit at the 7.2 with IMDb. Okay. So, they got a 72% then. Mm-hmm. So, lower than what Rotten has yeah. it. I, I would Higher not, than Meta. Would I, would I watch this movie again is the main consensus, and this one, I don't think so. Like, if it's on, and I don't have much on my plate, yeah, sure. But if I could find something better, I'll probably lean toward that. I, I definitely will rewatch this movie. Um, I like this movie. I've seen it plenty of times. It's saying it's on Hulu, and I don't think that's where we watched it, which is kind of pissing me off. Um, <laughs> uh, it's definitely something that I will continue watching. Uh, I definitely watch it less than I used to. Mm. Um, I think I'll put it around 80 to 85. Okay. Uh, and I think the reason why is I'm kind of sitting back now thinking about it and going, it's supposed to be a year in school, and really the only marker we get that time is passing is the one Christmas scene. Yeah. it. I realize it doesn't and feel it doesn't like give, it, year. It, it doesn't give you winter break. It doesn't give you spring break. It doesn't give you any of that. Yeah, I, I feel like they could have played with the fact that it's supposed to be a full year in school a little bit more. Yeah. I also think that they could have made Judge go through a couple more shit jobs before he loses his mind completely. That too. Um, I mean, it does show you the very first day, you yes. know, where Spicoli's like, I got this car and it tells me go here. Ha. You know, and he's like, that these <laughs> classrooms are very confusing. And then he fucking rips it up, and I'm just like... You're ripping up my card. <laughs> yeah. You dick! <laughs> um, It's one of those ones that the 80s channel will rip lines from for like the 80s channel on uh, Sirius XM Radio. Oh. So he'll be like, all I need is my tasty waves and my big 80s. <laughs> like they'll, they'll splice that in. Um, I've heard a lot of things use as you dick line. You're ripping up my card. You dick! You dick! Dig. So, it, it's one of those. Um, tonight, we're going to go with Weird Science, an all-time favorite of mine. Yeah, I'm not going to bring him up. Um, John Hughes. Mm-hmm. Uh, Anthony Michael Hall. Um, this is after Breakfast Club. Okay. He was actually offered this, and he was offered Pretty in Pink. And he said no to Pretty in Pink because he would have been her friend in that. Mother and Walt's friend. Mm-hmm. Uh, the one that's played by the guy from Two and a Half Men that's not Charlie Sheen. Okay. Um, and he said no, because he said, I don't want to get typecasted as always playing the same character. Which is a fair acclamation. So it's, it's good for him to take a step back from, I don't want to be the rom-com love interest. Love interest thing. So he goes over to Weird Science, where he plays a nerd that tries to make something. And become cool. Okay. Him and his butt. That's fine. That's a, um, that's a be- I, I think that's a better turn for him. And it's got... Oingo Boingo made a song for it. Yep. Um, nowadays, Oingo Boingo, you would more know the lead of that band is Danny Elfman, who does fucking film scores, created the Th- Simpsons theme song, what you know of Batman nowadays, all kinds of shit. Tales from the Crypt. He was crazy back then. Yeah. Um, he's like, also the singing voice for Jack Skellington. Really? Yeah, Chris Sarandon does the speaking. He does the singing. I never knew that. Yeah. Um, He's got a good singing voice. I don't remember who does the singing for me. Sally. I just know that um, it's a di- it's different from the voice actress, because the voice actress for Sally is, uh, I'm spacing on her name, the mom from Home Alone. Oh, I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Um, uh, there you go. But yeah, so Oingo Boingo made a song for this, because John Hughes is a big fan, uh, Catherine. Catherine O'Hara, thank you. You're welcome. Um, 
it's kind of in his hype time of being John Hughes. Breakfast Club has happened and been huge. Yeah, Breakfast Club was a big movie at its time. Yeah. So this one, I feel like less people have seen Weird Science, but for me, it's up there with Breakfast Club. Oh. They're completely different kinds of stories, so don't go in thinking this is Breakfast Club. Of course not. But like, people are like, what are some of your favorite movies from this era? The Weird Science and Breakfast Club are around the same area. Okay. Um, the other one we're going to watch is uh, Real Genius. Now, this one is Young Val Kilmer. Um, I have not seen very many Val Kilmer movies. What do you think you have seen? I think just Batman. Uh, Batman and maybe one other. Okay. Um, this is nothing at all like Batman. Oh, no, I figured. So he's a genius. Um, he's the roommate of a kid that's so smart they take him out of high school and just put him in the college. Okay. Um, oh, I forgot he did the doors. Tombstone, Top Gun. Never saw, never saw, and saw Top Gun, but forgot he was in it. Yeah, he's the guy that they keep butting heads with, uh, yeah. Willow. Um, eventually, we will watch Tombstone because we're gonna. Wa- what we'll do is we'll watch Tombstone and we'll watch Wyatt Earp in the same night and see the contrasts. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's the one we're gonna watch. Real, uh, real genius. Eighty five. So the movies I think are roughly around the same time. Did he really do a spoof movie? I think so. Yeah. Oh. He's done a little bit of everything. Yeah, I see that because. Some of these I've heard of. It's just like, this was a spooky scary. I didn't see the snowman. Uh, apparently it did all right. That's an interesting face. Oh, no. Seven on Rotten Tomatoes, and you said it did all right. <laughs> I thought, I, no, I said I thought it did. <laughs> 18 from the audience. Not even better. <laughs> well, like, I don't know. Having a thriller of a childish mind, you know, sending, if this wants to load. Oh, it's a movie. It says, Mr. Police, you could have you could have saved her saved her. I gave you all the clues in a little tiny picture of a snowman. I'm just like, that's a great premise for a killer, you know. It puts you in a in a mindset of do they know what they're doing? Who is that? Uh that looks like uh Magneto Boy. Yeah, it looks like Fastbender. If fucking I Rotten think Tomatoes was low. Broken. Whatever. Okay. But um, uh, it does look like Fastbender. Yeah, real genius kid is in high school he's so smart he goes skips several grades and goes straight into college roommates with val kilmer who's also a genius but he's kind of the party uh, party dude it is fast okay um okay. and nonsense ensues okay so i mean i love i love that word nonsense nonsense because it's nonsensical yeah um i will give you one thing ice skating slash um Sled riding in the hallway. Okay. Yeah. They're geniuses. They made ice. Liquid nitrogen. Kind of. Liquid nitrogen, oxygen makes... Yeah. Um, okay. But you get the concept. Like, they use the fact that they're geniuses to fuck off. Okay. So. Um, and there's kind of a subplot to it that doesn't get touched on enough throughout it. They've kind of... Been more there's their class project. They don't really quite realize they're making a weapon for the military. (laughs) Okay, so it's fun. I enjoy it. Um, we can get into news now. All right. So I've only seen one major Monty Python movie. We'll have to fix that. Yes, we'll have to fix that. Um, but a major star that was in Monty most of Monty Python's works, Terry Jones, just passed away at seventy seven. Yeah, he was actually um, one of the big writers for it. Um, so, Holy Grail, uh, Meaning of Life, Life of Brian, things like that. Um, he hasn't actually acted uh, since 2015. He was in absolutely anything. Um, the uh, Simon Pegg movie. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, he was... It was also because they all kind of acted in uh, Monty Python things. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to find... Which one have you seen? You've seen Holy uh, Grail? Holy Grail, that was it. Okay, let me see who he was in Holy Grail. Uh, Dennis's mother, Sir Bedivere, uh, Left Head, Prince uh, Herbert, and voice of Cartoon Scribe. Yeah, he, he had a lot of movement in the, that movie in general. But, uh... <clears throat> Yeah, uh, Stephen Fry, Eric Idle, um, Neil Gaiman, um, Christopher McQuarrie, 
um, all of them have tweeted out, you know, their respects for yeah. for Terry Jones big, and big guy sucks to lose him. Mm-hmm. Um, been a lot of actor deaths already, and we're only twenty three days into the, into the new year. We've already lost a lot of actors, sports people. Um, one of the other ones uh, was uh, the American voice announcer for um, Dragon, Dragon Ball Z. Z. Yeah, did a, the narrator, and I think he did a couple characters, like small things. Yeah, I don't think he was anyone big. Uh, I, I think he did um, Captain Ginyu. Okay. Um, his story is a little bit better. Natural causes at home. Uh, that's how I want to go. Yeah, I prefer to go in my sleep. Uh, I prefer to go in By a ball of fire, ball of fire, and then hurling out into the space. Just, okay. just get me out there, make me stardust. So I'm not gonna cremate you or anything. No, like that. cremate I mean, me and then make me stardust. I was gonna say I was gonna sneak you onto a SpaceX ro- uh, a SpaceX rocket, <laughs> and then <laughs> let you be blasted off into space. That works. <laughs> All right, um, we'll move on to the, some happy news. Some pretty, uh, pretty news. It looks, it looks nice. I'm just hoping that they get the support they need to do more for this. Uh, so Skyrim mods. I've I had a couple back when I played Skyrim. Mm-hmm. Made the game a little bit more challenging, a little bit more you know difficult. What, or with UI any changes. game that I've ever downloaded a mod for, which hasn't been a lot. Any game I've ever downloaded a mod for, mostly Fallout games. It's normally the bug fix mod that someone builds to fix all the stuff that bethesda the little stuff that bethesda never went and fixed yeah so they're like we made the game we're good enough yeah yeah i get you uh on top of that there is one that kind of makes it look like breath of the wild it has that nice little off cell shading good shadows it looks very pretty um and I don't want to call it this, but it kind of symbolizes the textures a bit. Yeah. And, um... Fortunifies. Yeah. And I I would like to see more from the the mod maker. He, uh... If you go on Reddit, look up Breath of the Wild Rim. Uh, all one word for Wild Rim. Uh, he has a Reddit page that talks about it. He has a, a an image showcase with a, a little bit of a 20-second video um followed by a couple more images as well yeah some some images of the snow what i find interesting is it makes enemies pop out a little bit more but i'm not mad at that i'm okay with that it it for those who have a hard time seeing different things such as you with your color deficiency Mm -hmm. i think that would actually have a little bit more ease of access if you will um one of the things that always worked well for me for Fallout was because everything's just a big ass fucking desert. You can yeah. see all the monsters coming. Yeah, but for Skyrim, it's you have vast numberances of color around you, no yeah. matter what. Even you know how many it's... times where I can't figure out where the fucking enemy is in The Witcher. Oh, I'm yeah. like, Cause I all... see the red dot. Where are people? Where is he in the bush? You know, I live in the bush. <laughs> but uh, I just started that up too, so I'm. Oh, The Witcher Wild. Yeah. yeah, I'm not very far. Yeah, I, 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 that opening sequence was very long. Yeah, but I will get through it. I bought the game when it came out, played for quite a while, didn't play for a couple of years, went back now that it's on Game Pass. Even though I own the game physically, I'm just being lazy and didn't want to get up, put the disc in. Um, and now I'm like, oh, I don't know where the fuck I was. I don't know anything, and I restarted. So Ooh. I'm now level nine. Ooh, yeah. don't don't you hate that? Yeah, now, the worst one with me was way back in my JRPG days when I was playing something else, and then I went back to like Tales of the Abyss, and I was just like, "Oh no, I, I don't remember a damn thing." I was talking to James about JRPGs, and he goes, "What's JRPG?" And I went, "Japanese role playing game." And he goes, "Oh, okay." What are those? Right? No, no. He he got it after that. Oh, okay. But he was just like, what's a, what's a JRPG? I mean, they're they're considering, like, saying that Fallout and Skyrim are WRPGs. Western RPGs. I mean, if they want to call it the, a Western RPG there, I, that's fine. Yeah. It's like, and I'm sure in Japan, they're just RPGs. You know? Like, they don't... Do they say JRPG in Japan? Um... For some, like the for Disgaea, they definitely do. Because it, at the same time, <coughs> I guess I guess the issue 
not issue, but I guess the thing with JRPGs is, I, I say JRPG, you picture a JRPG. Yeah, yeah, I got, I have the vast enumerances of what a JRPG is. I say Western RPG. I, I see You're seeing Bethesda games. Bethesda games and stuff like that. But, you go technically, over. Watch Dogs I wouldn't consider, is an I, RPG. I would consider that a, like an action. Well, Watch Dogs 2, I'll say. Oh, Watch Dogs 2. I, a little bit more customization. Uh, if I dig into Steel it, tree. I, I, w- I would call it action RPG. Action RPG? Okay. I wouldn't call it Western, because yeah. isn't it? I, I guess I get that. Uh, Dragon Age? Any of them? That one I would call Western RPG. Western RPG? Actually. But those are not the same as a Bethesda game. Uh, and that's kind of the weird level of calling it Western RPG, I think. I just want to see where Bioware is located. Oh, I have no idea. Because I want to say they're Canada. They are Canada. Okay, so it Canada. would be considered Western. Yeah. Uh, I was just, I, it was either Canada or France because I knew they they uh, spoke French. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it was close enough. It was either Canadian French or French French. But my, my whole thing is if you say Western, yeah, they're a Western company, so it can still fall under the Western thing. Okay. But Dragon Age is a very different kind of RPG from Fallout. I, okay, then it would still be an action RPG then. Yeah, that's kind of my whole thing with... Yeah, we can add that title, but I think we need to be careful what we call a Western, Western RPG. Okay. Yeah. Um, but <clears throat> I'm very excited. I hope they don't screw up uh, Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah. They they mess up Baldur's Gate 3, I'm going to cry. Speaking of which, have you played with your new Baldur's Gate thing at all? Christmas? The D&D thing, I got you. Oh, yeah. Okay, what would you think? Yeah, it's so nice. Okay so pretty i got him a special little uh die set with cards and everything uh, it is from the uh descent to avernus which is um another campaign book for dungeons and dragons that the, the the this little tiny box is just so nice it fits all my dice perfectly it fits my uh two characters in there just fine oh it's so nice great fine oh um Back to the news, though. Just we, we kind of fell into the JRPG thing. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I actually had this on my list too. Kind of. Um, yours is about the free game thing, so you talk about that, and mine was just simply, um, they're saying the new Half Life game is on track and is set to release on time. Yep. No, no delays have happened, so it's one of the few games so far this year not to be delayed. <laughs> Shit. Uh, well, we're gonna get into that in a second, but uh, from right now, as soon as you can hear my voice. All Half-Life games are free on Steam until Alex launches. That's pretty cool, because I will say um, Half-Life Blue Shift is probably up there for one of my favorites. It's a really good uh, tied-over story. It doesn't directly impact what you would know if you played the mainstream games, but it is a what's going on while Half-Life 1's happening. Okay. Um, there's another one that's a part of it. Hang on. Come on, buddy. Uh, Opposing Force is the other one, but I don't know too, too much about Opposing Force, but I'm going to just say, you know, I'm not mad at that. Like, so, you get to play all of them for free. Yeah, it's Half-Life. Sorry, Half-Life, Half-Life 2, Half-Life 2, Episode 1, Half-Life <laughs> 2, Episode ah! 2. Bless you. Half-Life, Opposing Forces, Half-Life, Blue Shift, and then Team Fortress Classic. <laughs> I'm actually surprised Team Fortress Classics in there. Okay. I mean, Team Fortress Two is free to play and yeah, has been free to play free. for like it's twelve years now. Yeah. Um, but Team well, Fortress. As soon as the orange box didn't make money, Team Fortress Two was pretty much free. Yeah, and then Portal sold individually. Half Life Episode One and Two sold individually. Yeah. yeah. I used to have a copy of the orange box around here somewhere, but it didn't have the activation key. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. But good news, you have it through me now, so. Um, but good news, as, as said, you can play all those and for the next two months. You have two months that you can just dig through all of these. And I love Half-Life. Half-Life is a very, very good series. Each Sure, each opening, you're going to pretty much have like a tutorial area that will kind of ground you without necessarily force-feeding you all your information. You'll, you'll learn gradually. Very small-time uh, physics puzzles um a driving area every other game that'll kind of annoy you but it's all in good fun i like half-life i just want them to count to three <laughs> um fucking the left 4 dead 3 rumor got squashed apparently they're not working on it yeah they can't count to three 
I don't, I don't, I want them to count three because I, I want another new project from Valve that and, isn't a goddamn card game. Instead, they, uh, have some of the fucking Left 4 Dead people are working on a different zombie game for a different company. I, I don't know. Okay. Hang on, I need, oops. What'd you break? I just hit, uh, shift enter instead of enter. You broke it. I didn't break it. It's all broken. Uh, you're broken. Um, and aside from that for Steam, uh, the Lunar New Year sale is going on. Yeah, and, you're the rat. And one of the things that I noticed, which was a uh, a DLC pack for Dead by Daylight, is on sale, which is the Scarlet Swarm. And he's a rat-masked killer. And the Rat King. Um, I'll probably check out to see how he plays before I make any decisions on buying him. What was I going to search up? I don't know. We were talking about left for dead oh right and how they can't count to three and how oh. you can't remember anything you're right okay found it okay so good news it went from uh somewhat negative to mixed but uh artifact their card game is now in mixed with 41 percent over the last 30 days so something tells me the last 30 days they've done something all right i don't know we well, these... have too many car games yes and we're getting one more and i'm gonna talk that talk about that in a minute but I, right i played gwent in my witcher game not even the standalone the standalone uh -huh. well because i can't even play the standalone on my tablet which kind of pisses me off oh really oh yeah <clears throat> well no it's not even available oh yeah it's not like a running issue like heart uh, like uh hearthstone is mm. um but yeah, I play it in that, and then I have Hearthstone. That's it. I'm not into this whole 8,000 fucking card game thing. Yeah, but we're getting one more that I'm actually excited for. Uh, yeah. I'll talk I'll talk about that before the delays. So, uh, Legends of Runeterra is going to be opening up on the open beta, uh, I think, tomorrow? Oh, God bless America. Uh, soon. That's all I can really say for right now, because it's having me wanted to sign in, and I really... Oh, fine, I'll sign in. What what I love is um it's a beta for a card game. Well, because they're not done yet. It's a card game. Yeah, but like, how difficult is it? Uh, animations, card facings, textures, um, attack animations, sounds. You tell me. The sounds are easy. The rest of that shit is shit they already handle. And then on a it. higher scale. So what you're telling me is do, release it when it's done. Don't have people test it out? No, no. Have people test it out. But they're saying open beta. And, and I feel like it's very much like... Uh, oh, yeah. We're not there yet. Oh, yeah. No. This Community, is... help us out. And I'm like, do you need the help? Uh, yes and no. Okay. I can see where you're getting at. Yeah. Th this is. They only have five sections of the map. Uh, okay. Freljord, uh, Demacia, Noxus, uh, Peltover, and continue, <laughs> and uh, um, I think Zon. Okay. But they, they, what it is, is they're gonna add more. That's why it's still in the open beta. Like they're still wanting to add Ionia. They're still so wanting. It's more like the game preview position. Kind of. Okay. That's pretty much what the beta is, anyways. Yeah. Is like a game preview. It allows you to access it, and they're gonna probably stress test the servers. Test testing servers is good. I'll give you that. Yeah. So, I mean, over, under, and, I mean... I've never understood games that do closed betas when it's like, you shouldn't be doing that because you do need to stress test your servers. Yes. I, I Yeah. I, I, I'm right beside, right beside you on that. Yeah. There's... But there are those who are, If it's like, an offline game, that's different. Yeah. If it's an offline game or if it's an online but, you know, closed off servers, mm -hmm. that's even better because then there isn't much to stress test if it's going to be a max cap. Like Fallout seventy six, I mean, <laughs> you know they're they're small servers in the sense that there's only like twenty six people or some shit like that, but it was closed betas. Yeah. Um, yeah. I was given keys so that my friends could play. Um, and so I had to pass those out three or four keys. <coughs> um, but I never understood that. I'm like, you're an online game. Test your servers. Why is it this a closed beta? We only want people that pre ordered the game. 
I mean... That's a money grab. That is a money grab, but at the same time, some people want to pay to play early. There are some people who would be like, hey, I'll throw an extra 20 bucks yeah. just to get in. It was and, all, The other thing was like, it would be like one every couple of days. It was only active for like two hours or That hours. I don't... That I have no fucking idea over. That was a pain in the ass. I actually, I think, played the beta like two, three times tops uh, because there was just so much shit in my life going on at the time, and most of the fucking times were like mid-work day. Yeah, you're already out and about. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but with Legends of Runeterra, I en- I enjoy it. I watched a little bit of gameplay. I want to play it. So I am I am here for it. Plus, here's the thing. Instead of paying $20 for Artifact or, you know, uh, going into Hearthstone, uh, another card game that I enjoy, mm-hmm. try this one out. It's got a lore that's already set up. It's got characters that could be easily introduced. Well, I mean, so did- hearthstone you're right fuck leroy jenkins is in there you're yeah you're right <laughs> fucking boom bots hell yeah leroy jenkins. Uh, so you're logged in now and it's saying you can download the game now and then it'll become available once your account's approved yeah which i find interesting but still no release date i i'm thinking it's gonna be tomorrow I, hang on, let's back it all the way up back uh, back it up. Back, back it up. Back, back, back it up. It up. <clears throat> let's see. Pre register to play. Pre register to get the Moonstruck Poro. I love Poros. Poros are amazing. Um, what? Okay, now available on PC version. And then pre register Google, Google Play. play and then Apple you, Store says download on the Apple Store, but, but it's, it's like shaded out. out. Yeah. I think, uh, as far as I know, uh, the App Store. Okay. For the last couple of things that I've ever updated on my phone, mm-hmm. app, the iOS store has always updated last. So I think that one will be uh, when it's released on Google Play. I think it'll launch on iOS because they don't allow for pre-registry anymore. They do. Well, for some things. I don't think that they're leaning toward the pre-registry for this. So I think when it releases on Google Play, it'll just right over to iOS. And yeah, when you search it, nothing comes up. Yeah, that's why I figured. So I think that when it releases, it'll release. I I'm not gonna say otherwise. I I am sure because why would they why would they tease that? Yeah, it'll end up on Apple Store. They just wouldn't put a thing there at all if it wasn't going to. But yeah, it is definitely weird that it's not hitting at the same time as everything else. Because I've had plenty of games that I pre-register for. It just means that when oh. the game's actually out, it just auto downloads on your phone. Oh, they've added uh, Ionia. You're in Ionia. You're in Ionia. And they added in uh, the Shadow Isles. That's right. I saw Thresh. Okay. I'm, I'm super keen on this. Like, I, it's a world that I already love, and I'm, I'm super keen on it. And they have new... They have, like, these characters that are here for it, like Rasha the Sunderer. Looks like another Thresh like with a little bit of uh Hecarim, and I'm just like I'm I'm keen to I'm sorry, I know he's supposed to look scary, but that is the goofiest little fucking smile in that big ass cloud. Right, right there. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> you see it? Oh, yeah, I see it. Yeah. <laughs> That's kinda of what it is. It is kind of fucking uh Skeletor. Skeletor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Get hype. <laughs> So, I, I hope it turns out well for you, because I know this is a big thing for you. I love League. I yeah. just... I'm tired of game companies going, hey, this company made money with that. We should do it too, then. With Valve, I'll admit they shouldn't have done that. They should have announced something better for their... God, at that time, it was five-year five year silence. Hiatus. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, they're like, this is what we're coming up with, Artifact silence in but it's that. just like all the battle royales all the chess games um what are they called auto chess auto chess all the auto chess games okay to be all fair the card games okay with with the auto chess though tft is becoming another one of those big ones riot is doing it right mm-hmm. riot is releasing these games correctly yes with like dota or otherwise with the dota underlords and theirs I got confused and I didn't like it. It was very cluttered. I was like, "Am I building the right thing? No. Uh, is this to level up this? No." Uh, and yeah. I, to be fair, I guess I already had that precognition going into it when I played regular Dota two, and I was like, "Ooh, this is weird. You can buy in these weird little shop things only at certain times of the of the 
area and then your jungle camps don't help fuel your experience and i was like this is weird but yeah it, it's, it's just very but you know what i'm strange. saying about like the whole riding the coattails thing i do see it though yes a couple companies will do it and some will fail and then it'll be that one big successor and then everyone goes all right they hit now what we do is we start working on ours and drop ours right as they start to hit a lull i could see i could see that being the thing and riot seems to be doing very good at that yeah um, but even when it's at its highest though, that the, when they did TFT, it was already at its highest Yeah. and they said, we'll do it. We'll just do it. We're, we're already, we already have the code. We already have it out. Go ahead and launch it. And it worked. It worked marvelously for them. Mm-hmm. So I, I can see them with this card game doing well, but I mean, Fortnite and PUBG hit and they were around for a while. And then, and then when they started to kind of lull a little bit, it was, we're bringing this to Grand Theft Auto. It's going to be in the new Call of Duty game. There's, uh, what was it? The Project One. Uh, uh, Project Darwin. Project Darwin, To yeah. be fair, Project Darwin was a little bit of a, a nice... Had a different take on it. Had a different take on it. It was... Apex a, Legends. Apex, okay. Who Apex just introduced Legends. a new character, by the way. Oh. I didn't look into him. I don't... I, I haven't played in a while. I gotta get back into it if I want to, but uh, I got a lot on my plate. Yeah, you always have a lot on your plate because you I, just go right back to league. Tell me I'm wrong. All right, uh, that was the <laughs> Ugly Mugs podcast. Remember, to- <laughs> you even downloaded a league on this computer. I sure fucking did, bitch. Next in news. Next in news. Um, so <laughs> I brought up an image of Wiz Khalifa doing his another one meme. Uh, and it it hit kind of hard on how many delays we've had this year so far. Yeah. Uh, Final Fantasy VII delayed until April 10th. Another one. Um, the Avengers game uh, delayed until September 4th. Another one. Uh, Cyberpunk 2077 September 17th. Another, Another one. one. Uh, with the kind letter that uh, Crytek, whoever whoever developed uh, Dying Light, said, "Hey, we're just gonna delay it. We're not gonna re- have a release date, but we're delaying it." It was a very kind letter from them. I, I will say, I did. I they did delayed it with no future release date set. Wow. No. Which game is this again? Uh, Dying Light Two. Dying Light Two. Okay. Another one. Another one. I don't know, I, I'm pretty sure they're, we're going to get one more before the end of this week is over. I don't know which one, but we're going to get it. <sighs> yeah. Um. And this is why Steam's coming out and being like, "Hey, Half Life is not delayed. We are exactly where we're supposed to be. We are still coming right at you." Yeah, uh, I mean, to be fair, Valve doesn't release anything until they actually have something as far as gameplay. That's always been their thing. Even if it's like a test run of, like, Portal. Portal was just a project that they had. And they said, I mean, sure, go ahead and release it. Throw it in the, throw it in the thing. It's not that big. And then that's how it kind of got thrown into the orange box. Uh, fucking orange box just... Yeah, this is just some weird thing. Just check this out. Oh my god, what is all this stuff? <laughs> yeah. And then TF2 kind of... Yeah, for consoles, it wasn't too big, but PC, it got big. Yeah. Um, Speaking of Fortnite, don't you wish you were 17 again? No. Oh, I do. I always do. I feel like I'm too old. You know? I guess, but 17-year-old me was having to fight people in school who thought they could pick on the nerd. Not knowing the nerd hit back. Okay, let's let's go back then to seventeen. But you have the knowledge you have now. I haven't really learned much, but okay. <laughs> yeah, fine. We'll go back. I'm seventeen. Okay, you're you're pretty adequate at video games, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Would you Would you want to make a career out of it? Of course, I still do. That's not seventeen, but yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I would love to as well. But that I digress. Fortnite is now a high school and college sport. I've heard about the college stuff for a while now, but the high school thing is very interesting to me. Now, with Fortnite being a an actual eSport and Rocket League, CSGO, and a few others joining up at the back, would you want to get good at, at like, Rocket League? Yeah. Because, I mean, I, I remember you mentioning you were playing it not too long ago. I was playing it this morning. Yeah, like, it's something very oh, fun that we're we're now digging ourselves into, and I would like to become really good at it. 
um like when i started playing it i i was popping into rumble with goon poor guy's still sick uh he he he's a great all around i'm a great bully and then uh either tyler or uh, you know someone else is a better striker you know we have a well-rounded team we have well communication but you you had mentioned something of communication is mm -hmm. very much needed 100 percent uh most of the games i lose is due to shit communication yeah and there has to be something that can be easily implemented for the console version of certain games such as this or even if you're joining randoms in Fortnite, because sometimes sometimes microphones don't work so you're not going to have it on you but there has to be something easier for you to to do with it mm -hmm. sure pinging is nice but just a, a mild rant sorry i didn't mean to cross into that also this tea is fucking amazing so with fortnite becoming a high school sport oh, now, so here's good. my weird line and i don't i don't want to be that guy but everyone likes to every now and then harken back to video games cause violence and i i'm not that guy at all i don't believe that at all but okay here's the other thing this is a t-rated game there is no blood it's still shooting guns okay i'm not saying i have a problem with that because i don't okay I'm just saying, how long before the guy that's living in a basement with his six wives comes out to yell about this? I hate <laughs> that you hit some very strange demographic. Oh, I, I appreciate it, but... Ooh. But you get my point, right? Sure. And I, I these sure... schools are either going to immediately fold and crush these kids' dreams, or have to stand up. And that's what I'm curious. Hmm. Are they going to fold and crush these kids' dreams? Get these kids hyped up thinking that's something they can do and then crush it? Or are they going to stand up and, you know, be like, these kids are going to... I mean, are they, uh, would you consider high school kids kids? Yeah. Okay. I consider most adults kids. You're... Hi. <laughs> I'm sitting across from one, and I currently am one. So, no, uh, yeah, uh, I feel even an 18-year-old... <coughs> yeah. You... If you're going to... Uh... In my opinion, you're going to base your career on video games. You have to have a particular mindset to be an ace with it. Um, like, it's not even that. Well, no, no, no. Okay. The one who won the huge fuck-off tournament, 13 years old. Yeah. A millionaire now. Yeah. Boggles my mind. Hopefully his parents talk to him and it's in a college fund or something. Either a college fund or, you know, hey, you can spend this much, the rest goes to your fund. Yeah, you know, that college fund with a monthly allowance. You know what? Yeah. 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 No, but my, my thing is, is when it comes to the kid thing, it has nothing to do with what you enjoy doing and stuff like that. No, it's um, excelling at what you're doing. It, it's not even that too, but I the reason why I sit here and say high school people are kids, 18 year olds are kids. I feel most 21 year olds are kids. It's because they don't know how to act still. So you're telling me mindset. It's a very mindset thing. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, I I have talked to 16 year olds, not recently because I'm not a creep. <laughs> I have talked to 16 year olds, and I'm like, you're more adult than most of the adults I know. Yeah. Your mind is just there. Yeah. Um. But no, I. Making a video game tournament thing for high schools, that's fine. That's cool. It gives the kids who aren't good at sports something to do. The problem is, is when there's a kid that's good at both sports and the video game thing, what's the school going to push for? Are they going to try and shove them to be crazed over both and, and work them to the bone? That's another thing I'm worried about. If Put a lot of pressure on kids. They fold. They, they've already got a lot to deal with. Puberty... Family things, <laughs> the U.S. government, the U.S. government. Um, <laughs> We're gonna end that the one Korean right there. government. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, Quincy! It was a joke. Uh, was it? <laughs> yes. Uh, but no, there's already a lot of pressure on these kids, especially if they've got those overbearing parents. Yeah. So I would say pick one or the other. Yeah. But you know, we all. I feel like we all knew a jock in school that played one too many sports. Yeah. Yeah, I did. You know, I, I had a friend who was football. He wanted to be basketball. They wouldn't let him. He did a little bit of baseball, did a little bit of that, a little bit of this, tried out for soccer, yada, yada, yada. And it's like, dude, when do you have you time? Yeah. I get you enjoy the sport, and that's good because that's you time as well. But when do you have your real you time? When you're asleep? 
you know, and then they're going to go into high, they're going to go into college from here and deal with the craziness of fucking college because college is even more intense while also trying to keep this stuff up. So there's kind of my thoughts. Um, not a correction from last episode, but more of an update. Yeah. So we're getting a lot for uh, Game Pass. Game Pass this this coming week, or oh no, available today. Yeah, no, it's alright. Yeah. Cool. So you had mentioned that you wanted Plague Tale for the console. Guess yes. what's out? It's out on console. It's out on console. Now I just need space. <laughs> Uh, another game that I'm interested in because it's uh, hand drawn animations, uh, very well tactic tactic style RPG game, uh, Indivisible. Uh, we're getting a fishing sim world. Yeah, you can have fun with that. And something that I've heard about but I haven't really dug into called Sea Salt. I'm gonna look that up right now. But as of right now, uh, we're also getting for the PC beta Scourgebringer. I, and sea salt, but I'm going to look up what sea salt is right now. Now, there's obviously a market for these fishing games because people keep making them, which means people are buying them. I have never actually spoken to someone that plays one of those fishing games. It's got a market. Don't know what it is. I, I'm, I'm curious. I mean, I, I'm right there beside you. I'm like, I don't play it. You don't play it. I don't know who plays it. I have a list of 400 friends who don't play it. What is this? Uh, sea salt looks insane. The, what are they, frogs? What bit would you call this? Bio creatures. Uh, it looks like it's an 8.5, it, it, maybe 16-bit. We'll go 16-bit. Kind of reminds me of, uh, uh, was it Link to the Past? A little bit. Um, um. But even still, you, you get creature cards so are you spawning the monsters and sending them after people i suppose and um it's interesting looking yeah the little characters seem to always be moving yeah they're all they they have idle animations yeah you are dagon (gasps) oh my god so yeah you're an eldritch force that's like Got Cont- this big book, and you're just wrecking. You just go in, and and uh, and it looks very nice. It look, aw, it looks, looks very. Windmill. It looks very cute. It's very. Um, it's very strange to play, but it's very cute. I feel like we're getting. <laughs> Sorry, I feel like we're getting more games like this nowadays, where you're playing as the bad guy, and not even like trying to trick you. Like straight up, just like, oh yeah, no, you're not the good person here. Go wreak fucking havoc. Go be that monster that escapes from that lab and eats everyone on the way out. I'm uh, speaking of which, we're getting carry on uh, in the first week of February, so I'm excited for that. Sweet, I'm very excited for carry on. Um, anyone that does the Xbox rewards where you get the rewards points, um, currently they are doing a 20% discount on the Xbox gift cards, so you can cash in 8,000 points for a $10 gift card rather than the normal 9,000 and something. So it'll save um, you some save you some points, but yeah. also get you some games. Yeah, and that goes on until sometime in February. Yeah. But up up shoe news. So these shoe new the shoe news, I like the artist. I, I love the artist. Uh, uh, how do you say her last name? Bartle. Bartle. Bartel. Uh, Bartel. 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 Jen Bartel. Uh, she's an Eisner Award winning uh, artist uh, for her cover work that she did last year. Um. She's done stuff for Marvel Image, um, and she also co-created Blackbird uh, for Image with uh, Sam uh, Hampers. <clears throat> um, she's got a very colorful art style. Yes. I really like it. And she just helped design some new Pumas that look really interesting. I like them. The box is crazy. The shoes are crazy. She put a lot of thought into it. So they're Harley Quinn shoes for the new Birds of Prey movie, which is the only issue I have. I don't I'm not supporting this Birds of Prey movie and I don't get why Harley Quinn's the front runner. The only runner from what I've seen, but the front runner. And this is the first time we get Roman Sionis in a live action and it's in a movie that's all jacked up. I don't get it. But put that all to the side. She put a lot of thought into these shoes. Um so the soles are two different colors. You got pink and you got a blue and they're like splattered, kinda like that uh spray painty type of thing. The shoes themselves are white. 
Um, the laces are caution tape. Cute. Very, very cute. Yeah. I like it. Uh, one shoe has a Harley Quinn hammer, like, chain and type of thing that's hanging off the side. Um, how did you describe the swishy thing down the side before? Uh, double chrome. Double chrome. Um, to where we're getting some rainbow colors out of it. It's really interesting. Yeah. Um, the pull on the back also has some, uh, Harley Quinn diamonds on it. Um, the video turned that as if she heard me talking to her and yeah, it was right. actually really funny. Uh, but they're not bad looking shoes. I like them. But they're women's shoes and I, I, I wouldn't wear them. I, I just like the design. The design, I, I am a sucker for hard color. Yeah. And then on the inside it says Harley and Puddin, but the Puddin's been crossed out because she's anti-Joker now. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I think they're really cool. I think my only downside with these is it's, it's that sneaker with the really big sole that makes the girl a full fucking inch taller. Oh. And now that I have an issue with tall women, that's not a problem. My thing is, is why do they always build these sneakers? Like, like this is, this reminds me of Spice Girls. <laughs> it's not as bad as baby Spice, no. but. She was wearing platform shoes. Yeah. But that's what I think of when I see a shoe this big. Oh, think of Baby Spice. I, don't, I, I think they're fine. Sure, the the sole is a little large, but I wouldn't say that's a negative. Yeah. It's a really cool box too. Uh, this would be one oh, where yeah. I, I wouldn't want to get rid of the box. Oh yeah, the box I would I would definitely put up somewhere where it would display itself because th- she does amazing work. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you want to check them out, she's posted several photos and a video on her Twitter, which is uh, at Hey Jen Bartle. Uh, H e y j e n b a r t e l. So go there, check them out. Um, I don't know when Puma plans to release them, but uh, make sure you keep an eye on your Puma stores. Well, Puma or Foot Locker. Oh, or Foot Locker, yeah. So, all right, what else is on the news? Um, a movie that we didn't know we wanted. Well, I still don't really want it. I don't. I don't. I like- saw this movie. I did too. In theaters. Same. And I got one of those ancient muse. I have that VHS tape with the coin. Yeah, I don't I don't know. Pokemon, the first movie is getting a thing A CG re release. A CG re release that that it says So it's called Pokemon Mewtwo Strikes Back. It is shot for shot the original movie. Voice acting is back and everything. Um Lauren doesn't like the way the Misty and uh, Ash look, but she says Brock looks the best out of all of them, and Brock still can't see in the new design. Um, it is shot for shot, the first movie. Yeah. Um, it's CG animation. Pikachu looks good. Mewtwo is still creepy as fuck. Pokemon all look pretty good. Yeah. Um, I don't really... And it's the, the old voice actor for Ash. Um, I don't really have an issue with the way... Misty and Ash look. Um, I do think Brock does look really good in the new design, but I just don't know why this was needed. Why not continue the story? Why go back and CG the first movie? Team Rocket looks good. Um, It's going to be available on Netflix. Um, Netflix isn't making it, but they got the deal for it, so it'll go under the original section. Um... Are you going to watch it, you think? Uh, I don't have Netflix, so no. Okay, if, if you had Netflix, do you think you'd watch it? If I had Netflix, uh, probably not. I can't, I, I, if it's the same shot for shot, I've already seen it. What's, yeah. what's, what am I gaining? Yeah, right? If it, if it's like a remake of, let's say, Ghost in the Shell, the very first movie from 1994. Hmm. The animated. Mm-hmm. Oh wait a minute! They already did that, and I liked it. I like both of them. Both of them are great, but I did enjoy the new newer one back in. Was 20... it shot for shot? Uh, just about. Hmm. But I enjoyed that. That that could have definitely used it because animation at the time wasn't too spectacular. But, I mean, we're talking what late nineties, early two thousands for yeah. the for and, the first Pokemon movie, and that wasn't too bad. Like Ninety nine. Yeah, yeah, that wasn't. Yeah, because it was uh, Pokemon uh, the first movie two thousand. Right? No, 2000 was the next one. Oh. Yeah, so it was like 99 so, for the first one. Okay. But even still, whatever. That It was... I mean, it's almost like, why are we getting a new SpongeBob movie? Uh, the new SpongeBob movie is going to be a different story, though. That's 
okay, but why are, uh, well, okay. It's a different story, so I can't really argue the same thing. Now, I would call this new Pokemon thing a cash grab, but it wasn't for the fact that it's on Netflix, so it's so like... So what, what are they grabbing? Yeah, like... Viewer minutes? I don't know. I feel like Netflix is in a really weird place lately. And They have Kamen Rider, and they've, they're they screwing that up. Which one? Kamen Rider. I don't know what that is. Uh, Japanese Sentai. Similar to uh, Power Rangers. Gotcha, okay. Um, while we're on the subject... They also have Ultraman, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they do. Uh, so people say it's really good, though. I, I, I've also heard that it's pretty good, but I'm not going to re-up my Netflix for that. Well, while we're on the subject of Netflix... Hit me! So, The Witcher... Yeah. Blew up! Everyone <laughs> loves it! Toss a coin to you, a witcher! Everyone's going nuts about that song. Yes. Two things. Okay, hit me. First of all, uh, The Witcher this soundtrack tease. arrived January 24th with Toss a Coin out now. So digitally, you can have Toss a Coin now. That's the whole good. soundtrack will be out the 24th. That, uh, I'm not mad at that. That actually sounds pretty cool. Yeah. Now... They did kind of shoot themselves in the foot by making the show they knew everyone was going to love and then going, we haven't even started on season two. Come back in 2022. That's fine. Or 2021. I'm not going to lie or sugarcoat it. That's fine to to test the waters. I mean, some shows did it. They knew this was going to work. They should have been working. No, they didn't. Because I, I even said I would have a hard time watching this. Yeah. Because I wasn't a big fan. But at the same time, on the open and closed... I was like, you know, it's it's an adaptation. I mean, it's I mean, okay. based on the books. It's not based on the games. We won't say that they knew this would work. I will say Netflix has no faith in any of their shows. With as quickly as they are to cancel everything and how harsh they are on things. I will give you that. They should have started work on season two when this really started to pick up steam, though. The fact oh, that yeah. it's going to take us till 2021 to get a season two is insane. And I feel like they have realized their fuck up because... Netflix has officially announced an anime tie-in film, The Witcher, Nightmare of the Wolf, animated by the studio behind Legend of Korra. Now, hold on a minute. That actually sounds pretty nice. Yeah, but why? the whole thing is, is we wanted live-action Witcher. You gave us live-action Witcher. You're going to take too long to give us more live-action Witcher, so you're going to throw an animated Witcher together to fill in the void? Hard to say. I, I love animation, and will continue to give animation respect, but I don't know. It seems like a weird... I don't know. There's something weird about it to me. Um, but yeah, so that's the, that's the new Netflix move that they're doing. And I feel like it might partially come from the fact that, one, they just, they're ending BoJack Horseman. Oh, a yeah. A lot of their other animation is not doing well, outside of what Castlevania and Ultraman. I don't hear anyone... Oh, and Big Mouth. I don't hear anyone talking about Netflix F, animation. Like F is for family. Um, I don't hear anyone talk about that show. I've, I know it's there. Yeah. It is a blatant ripoff of Family Guy based off looking at it. Um, There was one more. I don't know. I, I just, no one talks about any of their animation. They're killing off their biggest animation. Or one of their biggest animations. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, that didn't give you what you want. Um, um, try original. There you go. I got you. Uh, Disenchanted. Oh, Disenchanted. Okay, so I'll, I'll give you Disenchanted and Castlevania and Big Mouth. They're probably their big ones currently running. Uh, yeah, that's that's all I would want to give. So, mm. uh, do you want me to hit some of my little things, or you got something else up here? I don't have a damn thing. You're out. I'm out. All right. Uh, new uh, show announced for Disney Plus: Lamp Life, starring Bo Peep. It's coming January thirty first. Okay. So it's a new Pixar Disney thing for Disney Plus, which is good because um, it just came out after we talked last week that Ewan McGregor confirmed that Obi Wan is not being delayed. Actually, it is being delayed. Um, <laughs> it's been delayed indefinitely because the producer decided she didn't like any of the scripts. Oh. And so she's having them rewrite the scripts, and as soon as they have good scripts, they will start working on the show again. I feel like this got, the show got a little too far. To reach the point of we don't like the scripts. <laughs> I, I, I feel thought like that should have been something you should have noticed a lot earlier. Either that or find something and work off of it. Like there's got to be something that can be creatively worked around. Now, I will say I'd rather a good show come out late than a bad show come out early. Fair. I, so, uh, that That's fair. But 
then it just at the feels same like the year of delays if it it does um cuz what's going to be what is what is going to be coming out in the next couple of months for disney plus for anything for anything oh, i know like we're we're losing a lot yeah but well uh um, at least we'll be able to catch up on our bills i guess <laughs> that's true uh Speaking of um, what's coming out, what year is it right now? 2020. But we have Pokemon, the first movie's out again. And Digimon Adventures. Uh, Fuck Digimon... off with your goddamn Digimon. Digimon Adventure anime to reboot the franchise in 2020 with all new adventures. What year is it again? I don't want to talk about this anymore. Uh, um... <coughs> Give me a reason to give a damn about Digimon again. I'm not saying you need to care about Digimon. I don't, I'm just saying it's back. And it feels like it's 99 all over again. I, f- I don't want to... I feel old. Their opening song was good. Not the one from the movie, but the TV shows. Digimon. Digimon. So, Robert Downey Jr.'s new Dr. Doolittle movie? Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's tanking. Is it? Yeah. Um, uh, it could lose upwards of $100 million after spending $175 million on production. It's not doing what? Well. Why? I think because it is another one where it's just CGI. CGI. Uh, CGI will make this movie better. Uh, um, and the fact that you've got too many people that don't understand Dr. Doolittle was a thing before Eddie Murphy. And so now we're seeing this huge change. Completely different direction. Set in a different time. He's this guy we going on this adventure with all these but, animals. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Eddie Murphy. Hold on, Eddie Murphy's Doctor Doolittle. It was mostly him just being angry at rats. Yeah. And trying to make a rat fart. Yeah. And fart jokes. Yeah. Come on, people. But then they did a sequel, and then they did. Uh, a did third did one. they? Yeah. There's a second one that everyone came back for, and then there's a third one where it's only the youngest daughter. I never knew. Yeah, the third one was straight to DVD. Oh. Um, second one wasn't. The second one got a theatrical release. I never um, no. Yeah, he's trying to like. There's an da- uh, like bears are endangered, and so he's gonna try to get these. Uh, and his daughter can can talk to the yeah, animals. Uh, Raven, and... uh, Raven Simone can talk to him now. Uh, or Simonia, sorry, Simonia can talk Sim- to him now. Yeah, that's how it's pronounced. Yes. Um, but uh, yeah, I think there's. I think that's the problem. You've got all these people because, like, let's be honest, it's all the '90s babies who are going. Wait a minute. This doesn't look anything like the Eddie Murphy one. Not it's, realizing it was a thing before that. Yeah. It was, there was a movie before that, and it's also based off of books. Yeah. So. What happened? And like, so I, I think that's the problem, but it's getting worse for reviews than Cats. Oh, come on. Yeah. Um, like, okay, we're in this weird day and age where movies are getting patches. Yeah. Why are, why are movies getting patches? Yeah. But like I said, you know, I feel like this movie is, gonna, is doing the same thing, where it's just like, because look at it, it's all CG animation. All those animals are CG animation. Half the stuff that Downey Jr. is interacting with isn't actually there. And we dealt with that with Cats also. And when it was, Cats is terrible. We're going to update the CGI. Well, the script's what's wrong. Fixing the CGI. I Fix- said the script. CGI. CGI. And it's like. I mean, the only thing that I could say CGI is kind of helping out as far as making a movie patch is probably Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. Which I'm hoping does well mm-hmm. because... It comes uh, out on Valentine's Day, which mm-hmm. I thought was a weird choice. Didn't Deadpool 1 come out on Valentine's Day? Uh, Deadpool 2. Deadpool 2? Okay. Oh, no. Maybe it was one. I think you're right. I think it was one. Okay. I knew one of them came out on a holiday. And so he started selling it and doing these fake ads making it look like, a, like where they recut the trailers to make it look like a romantic thing. That's it. And got all these guys to be able to take their girlfriends to a fucking superhero Look at your movie. man. Now back to me. Granted, Lauren says she'll go and see Sonic with me on Valentine's Day. Hey! Yeah. <clears throat> but we're nerds. Yeah. So, um, and she played Sonic more than I did. So she's a little bit more hyped for the movie than me. I played I played a lot. I be, I actually beat all three Sonics. I don't think... I think the story as I hear is you tortured her by making Sonic drown. Oh, I just love the sound. Because her anxiety. Oh yeah. Um, my my brother's dad used to drown Mario in Mario sixty four. So I'm all the way down and just sit there and hold it. Um, but yeah, no, word like your script is crap. We'll just add more CGI. 
Moto well, Moto CGI dish. That fix the problem. I mean, and I'm not saying the script's crap for Doolittle. I haven't seen Doolittle, but if it's getting this better reviews, the I, script's probably not that great. I'm hoping. I mean, it looked good. I don't know what could possibly be the, the actual problem. Let's see what it's at on on stuff right now. Okay. Uh, I, I, I'm trying to remember. Oh, seventy well, okay. percent rotten. Google users doing it again. 87% like this movie. Yeah, 5.6 out of 10 on IMDb, 3, yeah, 5 on Common Sense Media. Click on Rotten. Let's see what the um, audience rating is. 75. Audience has it at a 75. So critics need to fuck off. I do have to say, I, the last trailer I watched, I went, what the fuck? Because there's a dragon. Yeah, I did see that. So I have no clue about that. But at the same time, I don't know. So... It's not making its money, though, and that's going to be where the studio... Well, that's going to be what the studio looks at. Yeah. If audience loves it, that that can do a lot for a movie over critics hating it. But I feel like it bombing in the box offices is going to hurt it way too much. Um, this person... Okay, one of the, the first reviews here. Charles Bromescu from Little White Lies... And since this qualifies as animal cruelty, one out of five, considering they're all CG animals, it does not. He's got a whole review. If you go to Little White Lies, but I don't know. Excruciating long 102? 102 minutes? That's an hour and a half, fucker. Like, come yeah. on. It's not that bad. It is not that bad. What would you want it to be? A 60 minute movie? Like, you can't make. A 60 minute movie anymore people won't go and see it no but like you know i have to pay 17 dollars for tickets 30 dollars on drinks yeah. and snacks and you want me to sit there for only 60 minutes i wouldn't have to pee by the end of it so i don't know i i was excited for this if I'm, i have a chance to see it i'll see it yeah i'm not i'm not against it i'll probably eventually watch it i did not plan to see it in theaters before all this this has not swayed me on that, and it's just this wasn't one of those ones that I went, oh my god, I've got to go see this in theaters. And I mean, you've got 156 uh, critics um, for that 17 percent, and then for the verified for the audience is yeah. 5,369 people who yeah. overall make it a 75 percent. So where where is the negative here? Where's the actual negative? I don't know. I don't know why they spent so much money on a January movie. You know, like, hey, you're releasing the movie in January. January movies, they're not a huge hit. The holidays are just ended. Yeah, people don't want to spend money. Before the romance time of uh, February. Yeah, I was about to say February, March, you late know, March. You're not in the summer blockbuster era for a couple more no. months. This is a really big movie for a really weird time. Yeah, but would you... Okay, with what was said of, like, the, the few things down here of saying, you know, waste of a... a 102 minutes blah 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 mm -hmm. what would that during even during the summer would that be excruciating long and difficult to watch no i mean like i said if it, it was you can't even get people to sit down for an hour movie you have to make the movies longer now yeah um oh, granted at the same time look at what it's competing against bad boys is for life oh yeah and which is talked. doing fucking 77 percent right now on rotten 97 from audience um, you've got Jumanji two, uh, Jumanji three is still out, um, uh, which is, I've heard a lot of people are like, eh, it's not as good as it's, as Jumanji two, but it's all right. And so it's hitting at a 71 and an 87, um, knives out is still fucking making money at 4.3 million just for this fucking week. Yeah. And that wasn't their opening. No, no they've been out for a while now for about a month. So it, it did have some competition as well, so that, that could be where the money's going. Not not even under a 90%. 97 from the uh, critics and 92 from the audience with 30,000 verified Yeah, I, I definitely put it in the 90s. So, Like, yeah, you like this movie, and you said that you're getting in... They, they were talking about doing another They're going to do a sequel following uh, Daniel Craig's character, because cool. he's the investigator. Cool. He's a private eye. Um, but uh, move on from all this. Okie dokie. Um, I got a few more things here. Okie dokie. Uh, Kung Fu movie. Uh, the Hobson Shaw director, uh, 
David uh, Lynch, not Lynch, a uh, different person, is set to helm an adaptation of the 1972 TV series of the same name. So, that sounds kind of cool. I'm kind of interested. I like Kung Fu. Yeah, I like Kung I'm Fu. I'm a big Bruce Lee guy. So. I, I Yeah, I also I fucking love uh, Enter the Dragon. Enter the Dragon is amazing. Yeah. Um, new picks from the set of Falcon and Winter Soldier reveal uh, Wyatt Russell in his new Captain America suit. So, props to him. I hope he cried, because I would. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I would cry like a little bitch. Um, so, Sony's online live TV service, PlayStation uh, View, uh, is shutting down next week on January 30th. Yeah, all of Sony stuff all eventually dies. Mm-hmm. Um, for Tetris fans out there, if you play the EA Tetris game on your phone, now, this it one will make be sense. over come April. They're shutting I, it down. I, why? Because you, they gain EA nothing by closing it down. Hungry, and they're not making as much as they used to off of it. Okay. They need to just let things live. Uh, Jody Whittaker? Whittaker. Whittaker. Thank you. Um, the current Doctor, Doctor Who, confirms she will do another season. Good on her. I yeah. have not seen any of hers or the guy before her. I saw... I'm behind. I saw one episode with her in it. She good? Uh, I, I, I was entertained. Okay. She, she was very... Um, not as... I don't want to say flamboyant, but it's the best way I could put it. As uh, Neil, Patrick, Harris. I know he wasn't a doctor. Okay. But I'm just saying not as flamboyant as he would be. Okay. I'm like, I'm sitting here thinking, I'm like, he's not a doctor. Yeah. And well, I was trying to think of the name Dookie at Hauser. the same time. Yeah, I know he was Dookie <laughs> Hauser, but um, Different kind of doctor. Different kind of doctor. But um, no, he's not as like flamboyant as that. She is not as flamboyant as that, but she gets her points across with mm-hmm. Humor. Have you ever seen David Tennant's version of Doctor Who? Yes. Was she anywhere near him or anything? About. Okay. Because that's the whole. Everyone I don't know. Says David's one, uh, pretty much the best. I don't know about the last one, the one before her. I I <clears throat> heard about him, and everyone was like, "Oh, he's too old." Blah 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 blah. And I'm like, mm. and the, the original Doctor's old. Yeah, and I was like, whatever. And I was like, I I want to watch it. I want to start. My with issue one. with him is he played a character in a previous episode. Yeah. Oh. He played someone in a different episode. And I was like, that's weird. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, during, I think it was during the guy, I think it was during Eleven's run. He played uh, this guy that uh, is in Pompeii, right before the volcanoes go off. Um, One of the companions also uh, was in that and uh, came back as a companion, played two characters. And I'm like, that's always risky when you do that. Yeah, because then you run into continuity errors. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so she's sticking around. Uh, good on her. Um, everyone was up. Ups- uh, not everyone. There was a lot of. How's the best way to put this? Um, men scared of women that were uh, upset when she became the doctor. Unga bunga. Yeah. Fire bad. And Thomas Edison was a witch. Yes. Uh, <laughs> um, Nikola Tesla was a witch. <laughs> they both were in their yeah. own right. Edison just stole everyone's ideas. Um, there's a game based around that. I know. That, it's, a, it's a really good one. Is it? Yes. I haven't played it. I fucking loved it. I uh, streamed it. Okay. I'll check it out. Yeah. Um, my issue was never that the doctor became a woman because that's something that Time Lords can do. My issue is that we are now 13 doctors in, 14 doctors in, somewhere around there. Mm-hmm. And he's still not been able to be a redhead. Oh my god. He wants to be a redhead. She wants to be a redhead. The doctor wants to be a redhead. <laughs> um, it's when uh, Matt Smith, I think, is the, the guy's name that plays the doctor after David Tennant. I could be wrong on the name. But one of the first things that Matt does is he grabs his hair and starts trying to pull it down to see it. And Damn. it's like, is it is it red? Am I a redhead? No, Damn, never been a redhead. <laughs> He's just upset. Um, that was, you know, that's the only thing that bugs me, is the Doctor still has not been a redhead. So, um... Uh, by the way, for those wanting to know about the Nikola Tesla and Thomas Edison-esque game, uh, it's called The Invisible Hours. Interesting. Oh, it's got a console release, too. Yeah. And, uh, VR. And I have 10 on Steam. So. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I probably gave it a plus. 
2017. Uh, it's on sale on Steam for ten dollars nineteen cents, and if you buy the Tequila Works bundle for a uh, a dollar and some change more, you also get another one of my favorites, uh, the Sexy Brutal, as well as uh, Rhyme. Rhyme, which I hear is really good. Yeah. So exciting! All right, check that out. That sells until the 27th. Yes. For uh, uh, Chinese New Year. Yeah. Year of the Rat. Uh, Lunar. Year. Um. Let's see what else I have here. Uh, the game producers for Kakarot uh, says the doors aren't closed. Dragon Ball Super DLC could happen. Cool. That means we're gonna get hit, and if we get hit, that's gonna be a. That's gonna make a good game, I think. If they connect all arcs. Yeah. Um, Rick and Morty have a big game spot, but you can't say Super Bowl. Oh, we just said it. Uh, yeah, they've got a huge trademark on that. That's fine. Um, Rick and Morty are doing a big game M spot. Uh, the class of Mortys prepare to uh, prepare for the big game as in the, all the Pringles that come with it. Because they're doing that whole Pickle Rick Pringle thing. Okay. Yeah. Super Bowl's coming and all kinds of commercials. Yeah. I probably won't watch this year. I, I mean, 49ers, yay. My normal go-to is not happening. Oh, okay. So, um... While we're on Super Bowl commercials, this was trending higher than the deaths we spoke of earlier, which really upsets me. Mr. Peanut. Oh, Mr. Oh, fuck off. Has died at the age of 104 after sacrificing himself to save Wesley Snipes in this new Super Bowl commercial. I hate that it trended higher. I hate yeah. it. Yeah. You know, Robert Downey Jr. voiced him for a little bit. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh. When they did that CG redesign where he looked more like a real peanut. That's right. Yeah. What else do I got here? Um, we already covered Plague Tale. Um, Bill Murray talking about Afterlife, the new Ghostbusters movie. Um, he says that the script's good and has a lot of emotion in it. So I'm glad he's happy. Yeah. Um, I, I want to know what the other Ghostbusters think about too, though. I want to know what Aykroyd, because Aykroyd wrote the original script uh, for the first Ghostbusters. So I want to know what they have to say about it. Um, Everyone kind of flocks to Bill Murray because his character was kind of the focal point of those two movies a lot because of his love interest being in, the, you know, that whole thing. But everyone kind of forgets that it was, you know, it wasn't his project. You know, he didn't write it. He was character in it. Yeah. Um, and not to say he doesn't deserve respect because he does, but it was just, I, I feel like the other people in the movie kind of get overlooked sometimes and it makes me sad. Yeah. Uh Dennis Villanova, Villanova um, says he would return to the world of Blade Runner um, for a project as long as it's disconnected from the other movies. Um, that is not all he spells. Uh, okay. If you want so, me to spell it for you, I can. Nah. Okay. But, okay, so he's going to come back. Well, he's saying he's willing to do a new project if it can be not connected to those. I'm assuming same world... But not Blade Runner. Yeah. Okay. Um, I would actually, I would actually like to hear more about this very, very constructed world that doesn't have. I don't want to say that it doesn't have a lot in it, but having watched both Blade Runners, all you get is just what you see. Yeah. You don't get anything else. I would so, definitely like to see more stories from the Blade Runner universe. Yeah. Um, more from the bounty huntings. More from the yeah. And I would even like if the we Outlands went, if we went back to the time of the first movie. Doesn't have to interfere with the movie, but when that stuff was going on, that yeah. era. Oh, I'd be down for that. Um, especially after watching the second one and just being like, meh. You know, I would like some Blade Runner that pulls me back in. So, I if he if he thinks he can do something well, I'll I'd like to see what he does. Yeah. Um, we already talked about that. We already talked about that. Um, about they're saying that Eternals, the new uh, Marvel movie they're working on. Mm -hmm. um it is epic and sci-fi um they're saying it's the most epic and most sci-fi of all the mcu films okay i mean i, I mean that that's a bold that's a bold statement actually well i mean if you think about it you've got guardians guardians was about as sci-fi as it got yeah and even that didn't scream star trek you know yeah but then <clears throat> I was going to say maybe a little bit of... The bubbly? Uh, oh, my God. 
they're selling that shirt at uh, I, Hot Topic I, now. I I've I've had a chance to buy one for ten dollars, and I was like, so close. Like I, I, I was also this close to buying a fucking ticket to NXT. Uh, if AEW comes to town, I think we're gonna go. Shit, you might as well uh, do NXT. I, I guarantee you won't be disappointed. NXT is more expensive, huh? NXT is more expensive. Fifteen dollars starting for up front. Uh, for up front, I think it's like forty five. Oh, yeah, okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, maybe like like NXT prices. They're aren't... normally at the Orleans, so it's easy to get to. Uh, Palms. At the Palms now? At the Palms. Okay. Yeah, they're still be, easy to get to. Still very easy to get to. It's gonna be spectacular. Okay. Um, let me let me actually pull up tickets. I was gonna talk about this, but I'll talk about this. Why are pulling, pulling that up? I got a few more little things. Sure. Uh, Picard is officially out. The new Star Trek thing. Okay. Ninety-two percent fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. For a TV show we cannot watch. Because we're not gonna pay for another streaming service. I'm glad it's doing so well. I've already got spoilers for the first episode, and I'm excited. And uh, uh, Patrick Stewart's come out and said uh, that for season two, he'd love it if Whoopi came back. You know, like, it's amazing that this is happening. But they're alienating people by trying to get them to to get it through another paywall that I'm just not going to do. Um... And then Clone Wars. Uh, first of all, we're getting the new season, of course. Uh, we're also, in April, getting a five um, self-contained issues of the Clone Wars Battle Tales comic. So we get a little bit more Clone Wars um, in the comic range. Yeah, Tell me, show me the prices for like 103, 102, 104. Seating for this is really weird. Okay, no, and that's way up there. Yeah. That's but the the two hundred, the one up behind that yeah. is uh fifty. That's not bad. Um and then the last thing I have. Fifty five. You see Mean Girls, right? God, ages ago with uh Lindsay Lohan, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. It's a pretty loved movie. Yeah. Yeah. Tina Fey. Uh, yes. Um it's based off a book. I've uh different name. Yes. I, I don't remember the name of the book. It got a musical based off of it a while back. It's got a like a fucking Broadway musical based off of it. The oh, mean Girls the musical. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which is now going to have a movie based off of it. So like Rent? But with Well no, it wouldn't be like Rent. I don't know. Oh, okay. They took a movie A movie. Or they, a book. They took a book, made it into a movie, and made the movie. And they made a sequel that no one saw because it was straight to VHS. Oh, okay. So, no, no, no. They took a book, turned it into a movie, and a musical. The musical and they're turning based the musical. off the movie. Oh, my God. And now they're going... And now the musical is getting a movie based off oh, of the... it. Yo, yo, dog, I heard you like musicals in your movies. <laughs> like, I don't know what the fuck. So, I, I don't know if this just means it's going to be Mean Girls with singing. And dancing. Or if they're just remaking Mean Girls, they don't want to piss everyone off, so they're claiming they're remaking it from the damn Broadway show. This is... Welcome to... Welcome to 2020. Um, okay. Hey. Have you ever wanted to play a Pokemon MMO? Mm, What do you mean? I mean, just that. Like, play an MMORPG style. That's just but... me going around catching Pokemon and battling other trainers? Yeah, with, with your friends, if you wanted to play with your friends. Um, I've never had that urge, but I can see it being a thing. Okay. Well, right now, through Humble Bundle, um, and if you do it through Humble Bundle, good news, you you will, if you're already a Humble Choice member, you save another $7, but it is Humble Bundle backed. It is their development crew. They have a Pokemon-style game that is in their fair use to do called Temtem. And it pretty much acts and is similar to Pokemon. This There's, looks very Pokemon. Yeah, there is no if, ands, or buts. Um, they just did the major release for it yesterday. I saw a little bit of Northern Lion and his friend playing it. The servers were not doing well. Like the servers were crashing or um, there just isn't people playing? Number of people playing, like, uh, Northern Lion would go up and talk to someone, and his friend would be like, you're still right next to me. 
and then all of a sudden he'd be like, oh, you're gone. Where'd you go? Oh, you're up there. Okay. And then he would go up there and Northern would be like, wait, where are you? Oh, you're right next to me. Okay. So it's it, still got some bugs. It had like a little bit of latency, if you will, like heavy latency. Um, I uh, I hope that they managed to fix this issue because, I mean, it doesn't look bad. It looks kind of cute. Yeah, um, it does. It looks like an interesting concept, and I'm surprised it's not something that um, Game Freak or Nintendo has pushed for. Um, especially with them branching Pokemon out into so many different places now. I mean, you technically have a little bit of multiplayer with the new uh, Sword and Shield, where you and three other people can fight a raid boss. Yeah, even well, though most people Pokemon can... Go. That too, I suppose. Which I played for like the first couple months it was out, and then yeah, I I was this close to downloading it again, but I was like, eh, I don't. Mm-mm. I even downloaded the Harry Potter one and played that for the first like month it was out, and then... that that looked like it had fun to it. Yeah, they've done a lot of updates to it. I just got burnt out. Yeah. Um, they have a Discord on there that I said it's backed by Humble Bundle, so it'll definitely get its updates. Uh, and as said, it you buy it through Humble Bundle, it's gonna some of it's gonna go to charity. So I, I highly request that you do it if you're gonna do it through Humble Bundle. Other than that, uh, they have more farmland type stuff. They now have a Sweet Farm bundle, um, that has mostly farming like games survivalist games uh for 10 bucks you can get stardew valley well, that's and, a good one. yeah and it all goes toward uh sweet farm if i remember correctly was stardew valley made by one guy uh no uh, it is made by chucklefish which is a lot of people oh, okay and not a lot of people like 30 i guess i'm thinking of something else then yeah um i do believe that was built in unity though wasn't it uh stardew yeah i think it was uh concerned ape and then they back it wasn't in unity then it was hang on i'm gonna check concerned ape you're concerned ape well that's the name of the developer yeah but you're also concerned ape. you're right i'm very concerned come on concerned ape is broken it is not wanting to do why is it even try- it's trying to open that in private browsing that was weird uh this is a private browser Whenever you open it, it's private browsing. Just uh, so that way it deletes history. So that way it doesn't take up gotcha. space on the hard drive. Um, but it doesn't want to load, but... Uh, Whatever. It doesn't matter. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, it, always support charities, is what I'm saying. Charities. Uh, aside from that, they have a new coding, uh, artificial intelligence bundle, career building bundle, uh, crafting. And they still have that spawn one that I pointed toward you a little bit ago. So, aside from all that. Oh, um, yeah. there's a fun video. If anyone wants to see some fun Stardew Valley stuff, there's a guy that skipped like 100 years in time on his Stardew Valley to see how much of a mess the yard and surrounding area would become and how much shit there would be to harvest. And holy fuck, was that a lot. <laughs> You're still trying to figure this out? Yeah, there was no slash in there, so I found it. But, uh, yeah, I don't dead know. air, dead air, yeah, dead, dead air, air. Dead air. You're thinking <laughs> I don't, I, do, I don't know what to look for, but I'm pretty sure concerned ape and, or those of chucklefish were not solo when doing stardew. Well, eh. the publishers were concerned ape and chucklefish. <clears throat> uh, chucklefish. The designer was Eric, uh, Baron. Okay. Um, it does not have what engine they use. You know, I don't. I, I think it's a simple. I think it's a simplized engine because it's possible. I don't. I don't think Unity would do well with pixelated. I don't know. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it looks like it may have been something else. This person just talks about the fact that it's written with C sharp, and it's like that's not an engine, dumbass. Um. Uh, I'm not that worried about it. I I'm was wrong. Worried. It's not Unity. X and A and Visual. X and A. Okay. I, I was thinking of something else then. There's something that is this style that was built in Unity. Huh. And I don't know what it was. Yeah, I don't know. Moving on. Moving on. Uh, so. That's it. That's all I got for mine. I'm a bundle. Yeah. Okay. Um, You are going to a convention. I am going to. Well, I'm going to attempt to. If I'm I am not. Attempt to. If I am not fit for it, I will actually politely decline. Because I, 
I'm. It's basically I will treat myself. Treat yourself. I treat myself to a gift if I do get fit in time. Level Up Expo 2020 is going to be here and the 21st of February. I'm excited. I'm hype. I want to cosplay something that shows off my chest and stomach. I'm not fit. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. But for the next third, a little under 30 days, I am going to try and work this gut out so that way I can cosplay this character perfectly. Do you have to tell them what character is that a surprise? Uh, it'll be a surprise. Okay. I'm going to tell everyone. Oh, okay. It's Penguin. It, um, <laughs> it's not Penguin. <laughs> it's, I do. It should be Penguin. I could do Penguin. If I, if, I stay, if I stay big like I am, I could probably do Penguin. What are you talking about? New Penguin Skinny. Oh, yeah. He's the, the, the lanky guy. Yeah. yeah. And the other new Penguin they're talking about is also Skinny. Which is weird because I, I like Dan DeVito's style of Penguin where he's yeah. got that like oblong body. Mm-hmm. But whatever. But no, it. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. It's set from League of Legends. Well, who would have guessed that it was gonna be a League of Legends character? I fucking love him. He is. <laughs> he is a good character. Tell me about the level up expo. Uh, video games. Uh, it's gonna have a lot. A lot. Because of... I, I see it advertised every year. It's advertised at the comic book store I go to. But I have always seen this. I've never been. Okay. Uh, it's gonna have a lot of guests there. Uh, it's gonna have a lot of sponsors. It's gonna have casual gaming tournaments where you can win stuff. Uh, it's going to have cosplay contests. Pro wrestling scene's gonna be there. Um, it's gonna have a small area that's gonna have escape rooms for minimal. Um, like, let's take a look at their guest list. Like, Lucio I know it's gonna have that it's Lucio, uh, Lucio from Overwatch. The thing you just clicked on said twenty nineteen. Oh, okay, it's got 2020. All right, that was weird because the link itself said 2019. Oh, typo. Uh, so it's going to have Lucio, it's going to have Genji, it's going to have Sombra, Carolina Ravasa, Gaku Space, and uh, Johnny Cruz. Uh, it's going to have Farah, Jen Kohn, uh, Diva, Charlie Chung, uh, Hanzo, Paul Nakanuchi, Nakauchi. Um, it is going to have Colleen Clinkenbeard. Col- I'm sorry if I screwed up your last name. She's coming for you now. Is she coming for me? Uh, it's just like Troy Baker, Chris Abbott, uh, Sean Schimmel, Nolan North for fuck's sake. Holy shit. Yeah. Uh, and then you're just going to have a lot of, a lot of streamers, a lot of commentators, streamers, um, cosplay guests that are pretty, pretty okay known. Um, past voice actors that are just you know, still in the possible, possibly to show up. Yeah, I mean Sabat. Yeah, Sabat. Uh, Charles Marnay. Um, Mar- uh, voice of Mario and all of them. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, uh, fucking Roger Jackson. Uh, he's Mojo Jojo, and he's the voice of the killer in Scream. He's the augmented voice in all the movies. Neat. So cool. And then you got YouTube superstars making their way out here, which is kind of nice. I, I do I do enjoy that there is a spot that showcases all of the uh, YouTube stars that might be might be coming up this year. Yeah, I've always wanted to go to the Salt Lake City Comic Con. That is a massive event. That thing is major. What are the tickets for Level Up Run? Uh, let's find out. If you get back, I think it's just showing up. Well, before. it's right here. It's just, it's all shaded. Yeah. Um, right here. here we go. So for the regular full weekend bat, uh, that's a weird way of putting it. But, uh, oh, okay. I see why. Pre-registration dates. Okay. So it was cheaper if you had registered last year for it. Because they were doing these all the way back in, what was that, yeah. August? Yeah. yeah. August to September, and then October to December, and then Which January. Which knocked off like 15 bucks. Yeah. Right. Uh, so for the full weekend badge <laughs> oh, is um, $50. That's not bad for a full weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. 60 if you buy a door. And that's also not bad for a full weekend. VIP is 100 VIP is 100 which, um, I don't know. It's a just a 30-minute early exhibit an exclusive lanyard i don't know what's in the vip swag bag uh discount on merchandise and a snapback hat so i mm -hmm. um they've got a family pack i like that 
four, so it's for four people for one fifty. So you save fifty bucks. That's yeah. not bad. That is not bad, and it is not available at the door. So you have to get it online at pre registry. Now, I w- you wouldn't get me to buy the one days because the one days are starting at around twenty five to thirty. And yeah, it's like thirty thirty five. Say fucking buy the extra twenty if you don't make it to the other two. That sucks, but you never know. Maybe you make it to one of the other two. Yeah. Um, oh, but I, I, yeah, I'm going to be working on my gut and the other downside of this cosplay is I got a wax. You could shave, you don't have to wax. I got a wax. Right. I mean, yeah, I got to wax. If I shave it, it's going to look weird. I got a wax. You're on your own for that one. I know. Because if I wax you and you punch me, I'm not going to hold back from punching you back. No, I'm not going <laughs> to. I, I, no, I, I will knuckle down. If, if you were to help me, I would knuckle down. I would not hit you. It turns into the scene from 40-Year-Old Virgin. Ah, uh, Kelly Clarkson. Uh, he was actually being waxed on it. Was he really? Yep. Um, and he just yelled what came yep. to mind? Yelled what came to mind. They figured there would be better reactions, and it was very much, don't fuck it up, we got one take. Um, and that was a lady that actually worked at a uh, waxing? waxing place, Aww. and so she felt so bad for hurting him. Oh. Um, and he did start to bleed through the shirt, like we see later on. Oh. Um, the other thing that, uh, Level Up has is old school, uh, infinite play, mm-hmm. uh, arcade games. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm fucking hype about playing some of that shit. Uh, aside from that, there is old school retro tournaments, tournaments, uh, Tetris attack, uh, with cash prizes with cash prizes. Or, or, I mean, last year, a buddy of mine went and he won a, uh, a razor Naga hex mouse. This is a very interesting ad for it, as this is going on at the convention center, yet they have the New York, New York in the background of the ad. I think it's just, like, uh, one of those printout things that they would hand out. Probably. So, I don't... Um, now, it's cool that they're that they're doing um, all this stuff and with uh, the retro arcade aid machines and stuff. It just reminds me, it was at Walmart last night. Okay. Up in the front near the cash registers, they have a display for those arcade cabinets you can buy now. Oh, as well as a monitor that is running Street Fighter with sets of joysticks so you can play. Yeah. There's like, like a group of like 10 people just swarming it at like 9 o'clock at night. I was walking through Walmart with all my cold medicine stuff like you people are stupid. You people are stupid. I wish I could play video games. I'm going to go home and be sick. Because Justin or someone else got me sick because everyone sucks. I'll take the lumps. Um, the other thing is there's... Tabletop tournaments. You bring your so deck magic of magic and magic, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh, Dragon Ball Z set, Pokemon. Uh, Pokemon um, uh, Force of, I think it's Force of Will. Like there's Argent Saga. There's a whole bunch of them. Oh, they're not. They don't have Pokemon. Oh, or Yu-Gi-Oh. Wow. Wow. Interesting. Okay. But uh, pre-registry is for Dragon Ball, Argon, and Force of Will. And those who would have to go to the actual uh, expo is Universal Fighting System, uh, DKP9, and uh, Magic Gathering. I'm surprised there's no pre-registry on Magic. I'm wondering if the register at event with Magic is they want to check people's decks. Probably. But then again, if I'm if I'm going to be running my... if If I had my old deck... Which is a blue black control. Mm-hmm. I guarantee you, I would make a lot of people salty, and I would not let other people play. It's going to be very much a uh, you you play a land card. It's going to deal damage to yourself, and then I I tap it again, get double. Tap it again, get double. Play any land card, you get dealt five points of damage. You're a prick. Gotcha. I'm a huge prick when it comes um, to magic. My other thing is, I'm wondering if it's going to be you can even do ask you have socks. To pay for the registration. Because if it's a tournament with a prize, you pay for registration. Uh, uh, they don't want a bunch of... Because you know how magic players are. Y- oh, yeah. You're one of them. You'll walk into a place and not leave a table all day. You know? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, there are prizes. There are prizes. So um, it's very possible there's a fee. A buy-in. But it doesn't... Uh, mm. Participation will include one executive design playmat, five championship... So you... <laughs> you also get free shit for just participating. Cool. Because you get a nice... Well, that's the Dragon Ball one. Yeah, but I'm just saying. Like, okay, let's go over to Magic. So, okay, main event to be determined. Side events is four packs sealed $20. Yep. So and... you have to buy the packs when you go in. 
Uh, so it's a random push. Ooh. Yeah, and that's probably the other thing with why they're saying here, not pre-register. Well, that too. And then you got $10 moderns where you put in $10. Uh, I assume winner gets probably 75% pot and some packs or something. Yeah. Um, draft. Draft pick would be a nice one. You know, all the prizes are still to be determined. Yeah. Except for the MTG two-handed the... giant. Oh. And then the daily league free, bring your league deck and play three best of one rounds against other league players. Now that one I would probably do if I had my deck, but I don't have my deck no more. Oh, well, this $30 one right here also has its price. So. Oh. Okay. okay. But, uh, I mean, even still, that's fucking bomb as hell. Okay. All kinds of cool shit there. And then uh, another thing that they do on their website is uh, hotels. They try and help you find a hotel. Push, yeah, push hotels. I'm going to tell you right now, unless you're staying at the Wynn, you don't want to stay at any of the hotels surrounding it. Maybe, maybe the one that used to be the Hilton. I don't even know what the fuck it's called now. Mm. Um, But most of the hotels down by the convention center kind of suck. You can get down to the convention center easy between uh, Uber, monorail, taxi, yeah. walking, buses. Yeah. And yeah, there's shuttle services from like the Luxor that yeah. I'm looking at right here. Um, speaking of which, uh, the HyperX uh, gaming arena down there, mm -hmm. super fucking nice. Yeah. Um, it has like a little side area that uh, Twitch streamers sit at from time to time. Uh, it's just it, it, something I just wanted to mention, but it's a really nice place to. It's um, a after party. Yeah, first 250 attendees will receive a free Red Bull cocktail. Red Bull! Yeah, but beer or alcohol. It'll probably be vodka. Yeah, it'll probably be vodka. Um, Doesn't Red Bull on its can say it? not to? Yeah, we, yeah. Mm. Um, please don't <laughs> but we're gonna do it please don't we're gonna do it anyways uh, i would tell them hold the vodka i just want the red bull they'd yeah. be like what I'd be like, i just want the red you're saving money just give me the red bull <laughs> give, me, God, give me the can <laughs> i will drink it I, I will shotgun this bitch <laughs> just <laughs> sir did you just pop the bottom of that can open with your finger what of it <laughs> uh <laughs> <All right>. but <laughs> no. i'm excited for for this expo but yeah for the next 30 days now, if you're feeling better cold-wise, but you aren't in shape to do the cosplay, will you still go to the convention? <sighs> I just said, I want to. I kind of want to make it my treat to do it. Okay. If I'm, like, almost there and I already have all the costume parts ready to go, yeah, I'll probably pre-order and get the tickets all squared. Okay. But if, but if I'm not in shape, I, I'll, I will probably, like, a week two, if I'm not noticing very much of a change, mm -hmm. I will decline and I will put it up on Twitter that I am not going to level okay. Cool, cool. And if anyone somehow recognizes you while you're there, we will give them a shout out on the show. Yeah. It's and we have nothing else. No. Nothing I can else. draw a little thing on a sticky note. Yeah. And have him give that to you. Yeah. Um, I mean, who, who knows? Maybe you might go to. Maybe. I'll have to look a little bit more into it and figure out schedules and work and stuff. But yeah. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. But I think that's all we got for you guys tonight. Um, we're ending just a tad bit early, about about eight minutes. So I think we did pretty good for the we, night. We did pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. A little bit of dead air, but it was pretty good. Yeah, because you. No. All, All right. right. Um. So make sure you check out Humble Bundle. Check out Humble Bundle. Follow us on Twitter, both our personal ones and the Ugly Mugs one. Uh, feel free to send us emails. Check out our website. If you guys have any questions, requests, anything like that, we are all ears. Uh, make sure you give us a um review on iTunes or wherever else you're listening to us and tell your friends. And as he chugs the rest of his tea. It's so good. <laughs> it's it's the best caramel I have had in a while. All right. So that's it for me. You good? Peace out, fuckers. All right. And words cannot espresso how much you bean to us. <laughs> <laughs>